this one. Yeah, straight from Sapporo. It's Beauty Thieves award-winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed, she was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? Next, uh, Jill's gonna be. Well, everyone seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Hyodo san's holding a press conference right now. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed it was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> as such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as me. Seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Hyoro was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Zinkichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? Yep. Yep, you all did a bang-up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Oh, I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Harucha. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside. When I became maid, I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself, and I realized that I was doing a 
horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kaho-chan would want. So let me say thank you, Kaho-chan. Thank you for saving this city, for saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family, too. Thank you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan! I'm happy for you, Haru. Mm. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs, I've left our city, and I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. Your... I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold no. that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. You need to start over to become a mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, she stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Marisa. Hmm. I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying, but it also feels warm and kind. Uh -huh. How would you describe this? Good for you, buddy. Good for that you. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You know, it seems like she really understood Yoda's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Mari-san. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Mariko Yodo! Like that? Uh, hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. Yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Uh, it really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? Indeed. <laughs> you did get it, That's... It really was touching. <laughs>
Maybe I choose. No, it's just fine. your assistance. What are you gonna do? I like Makoto. Is something the matter? What are you gonna do? Let's get going. Incredible. Um. So I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. Not to worry, I have it with me. Here. Now that's what I want to see. Third time? After reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents, I think they all stemmed from a mastermind. We oh. already knew that. I'm curious as to why you think so. Kyoto, Natsume, Alice, all three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Matarame, who acted only for their own benefit. Okay. But how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, Jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the monarch, we've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, why would traumatic memories the monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means monarchs think their trauma will protect them. I find that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. Indeed. Correct. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? Blackmail. Right. I think so too. 
What if that door isn't to keep intruders out, but to trap monarchs in? You mean they're trapped? I thought the monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a monarch tried leaving their cage? They'd touch the door, and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. But remember what made them so warped in the first place? And stick to their guns as a monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. The monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't there to prevent the monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these monarchs are being manipulated. And by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. Uh -huh. How's Yodo-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed. But I did find traces of surveillance. Again. I'll bet it's the same snooper we keep running into. So I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? Our first suspect is Medis, the company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medis, huh? Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. You mean the cops can't actually do that? Of course not. How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a call from Ichinose. Hi there! Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So, I've been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech. Not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Yes, exactly. Why was the first thing that popped into my head? So I dug around some more. And I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab. Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public. And when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. Basically, they're running a secret research lab. How crazy is that? So, if Emma's been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys, wasn't I a super stellar source of information? Keep it up. You just leave it to me. I've become rather fond of investigating, actually. Well, I guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. So what did Ichinose-san say? Okinawa? Crystal clear waters? Shisa statues? Juicy pineapples! Chinsuko cookies? Sugar can? I guess? That's not what I was expecting. Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. It may be well worth going, but Kukujima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about our precious Feathermobile? We've taken it all this way. That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, you said it'd be dangerous using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Boat. Oh. Oh, give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear. Uh, of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Uh, well... Oh. You got hung up on. 
Okay, guys. Lane's a no-go. We're driving. Huh? You mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? <laughs> the thing is, I need to make a stop along the way. So we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know, cop stuff. After uh -huh. that, we head to Kobe. We can take a direct ferry to Okinawa from there. That ought to cut down on time. But that's still quite a distance, even to Kyoto. Not to worry, I'll do the driving. You're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I do have it. It's just... I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, Haru's driving is... not exactly... Uh... <laughs> well, in any case, we're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, you'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be... About... 21 hours, give or take. Gramps is correct. 21 hours? Are you nuts? You forget I'm an officer of the law? We're badass at driving. What's with him all of a sudden? It's like a little fire under his ass. Fine by me. So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari, revealing his true colors. Drive safe, bud. Don't want to end up being uh, arrested by you for your crime. Alright then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Please don't. Mm-hmm. I like keeping my insides on my inside. Let's get to work. What are you gonna do? Would you like me to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? Sure you're okay, buddy? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Sure, once you've got a license. How tough is it, being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. This job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. Maybe so, but my heart's set on it, no matter how tough it may be. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then, decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. Speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Aw, oh, can it? Mind your own business. Uh, let's just say, you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Unfortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh, hmm. So, uh, 
Nijima? When you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. <laughs> if only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders. Even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. Sure, like Nijima's pops. But <clears throat> anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. Yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji! Make us laugh. Don't tell me to perform for you! I ain't some comedian! Shit, not now. Uh, well, I guess there's no reason not to. Go ahead. Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. Hello? It's way past noon. Where are you? Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. We were supposed to visit Mom's grave together. Huh? Who is this? Please give him his phone back. Driving? Oh, I guess that makes sense. What is it? Who's calling? Is it some kind of emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! Uh, um, I don't know the details, but... Is everything all right? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just forget it. So, who was that anyway? My daughter. Daughter? You have one? Yeah, damn it. Sorry, time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Well. Time to meet the, pro the detective's family. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is their overnight... What in the heck? He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. He's off. Zenkichi's off to see Zenkitty. Based on my deductions, today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? 
Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. Uh, that's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. Um... I agree that solving the problem is a good idea, but... If we just rock up to the grave site of his wife... As complete strangers to the family, that's gonna be... We can't do that! We're the ones who talked him into that whole mess! I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. Well... Whatever happens, happens. I apologize, Enkichi. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> uh, Akane? I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no! You don't understand! I'm on the job right now! Do not come near me again. Got it? Can't even catch Mom's killer. <sighs> Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything, the way I see it. You're no father to me. Uh, well... You know... Ah... Uh... What do we even do? We really crashed that ship! She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. We're the ones who should explain everything. Um, um, hang on a second. Um, please? What? You guys? What are you doing here? Who are you? Huh? And why are... She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but... Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Uh, Kane-chan. Right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. So, when I talked to you... Mm-hmm. He was driving us out of Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh. Uh, I see. In that case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. Whoa, she's so well behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut That's up. That's not hard. But for real, you sure don't seem like you'd be his kid. You shut up. So, Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today, right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh no, it's... It's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry too, Akane. I promise. I really did remember it was today. It's just... Uh, this case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh... Well... Uh... Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh... Oh! Ha ha ha. Uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. In the force, any information about a case that leaks to the public could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk, considering all the hell I put my own mom through. But he's taking care of you, right? So biting his head off over this. Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. I mean, it's not like... Um, we're not trying to pile on you, though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. 
But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. <sighs> I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. But don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey! Zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't worry, Akane can't hear a thing. Come on, let's go pay our respects. Yep. He just seemed crazy talking to a cat. I'm threatening a cat in front of his daughter. So, two years. How the time flies. It was... Well, I should go home. Oh, well, why don't we go together? I'll order some takeout. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with you. Hey! Akane! She's not stopping. Boy, is she icing Gramps out or what? This isn't just some teen rebel thing. But she's so polite, too. I really wonder what could have happened. Hey, sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yeah? Fine by us, but... You sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy package and stuff. Really? Is that bad? I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. Yeah, after what we put her through, I want to at least do something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. We can even help cook. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? Thanks for hosting, Zenkichi. Wait a minute. You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it. Hey. We did. Hey, you damn kids. Are you seriously crashing my place? Yes. Am I just talking to myself here? Partially. Akane-chan, could you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. You got it. Akane, would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along in there. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. I can no longer sit idly by. I want to help too. I've got huh? it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... Chill your circuit, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't believe you've all raided my house like this. <laughs> you guys have some serious nerve. Although... I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, I see so, a smile. Gramps, you don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but what happened with Akane's mom? Hmm. <sighs> Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. Uh, so that's what she meant. She said something about the killer, too, right? They ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. 
Any suspect is way out of my reach. <sighs> it's none of your concern. Sure, but... Hey, would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing. Let me try, let me try. Mm, this is delicious. I'll have to report this back to Sojiro. <sighs> yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. <laughs> the brains of the operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of you, Meowgana. Excuse me? Meowgana? Who are you talking to? Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> anyway, how's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> it's delicious. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. We better keep our mouths shut here, Sophia. Oh, man. I thought of using eggplant in a curry. Oh, I've made some did you just come up with a new this, dish? Though. I can't wait to try it out. Oh man, I could eat this all day. Time for another round. Not today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. All right, break it up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? If you put in the practice. Right. I'll do my best. Mm hmm Mastering this isn't easy. You'll have to learn how to curry your weight in the kitchen. Nope. Oh, nope. I've got an idea. Wanna take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Oh, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those, too. Mind if I joined you? Come on, how big do you think the bathroom is here? Okay. You really saved my ass back there. The place may be cramped, but it's yours for the night. Who the hell would ever guess the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah, we just do what we know we gotta do. Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves' way, and always will be. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? <laughs> At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Uh... So, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier... Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. Ugh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? Uh, it, it's nothing. Sorry, but I gotta hit the hay. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. Uh, Good God! Mm -hmm. So, this is my room, and... yeah. 
Oh, is this really all Phantom Thieves merch? I didn't even know they made this much stuff. Well, uh, they are real famous, you know. I'm pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. Uh, no, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, uh... Yeah. How neat! We're all the same, then. Huh? You mean you're... Uh, yup. We're, uh, huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right! <laughs> I love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh, go, go, Phantom Thieves! Change their hearts and all that stuff. <laughs> I guess your hairdos actually do remind me of them. I'm into the Phantom Thieves because they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just fighting with their lives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. From the footage gathered online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. So mysterious and dreamy. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You really do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? Damn, Kane chan is so awesome! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Great! Oh, that's my mask. You know, maybe I could let you in on the show. Show? What show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, how interesting. Yep, sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. <clears throat> it's been some time since we last met. Fellow Phantom Freaks, let us enjoy our time together tonight. Phantom Thieves super fans across the world. Hmm. She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So Adorable. This is the online thing she's into? I think she's doing the voice for that action figure. Is she <laughs> copying you? Yes, but think of it this way, Morgana. I have an action figure. You don't. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it is time to express our gratitude for the Phantom Thieves from the bottom of our hearts. Our channel has over 50,000 subscribers. That's easily a mid-tier account. I bet she's pulling in a decent income from this. Go, Morgana. Oh, really? Should I go be a special guest? Yes. So there are other supporters of the Phantom Thieves beyond the fan site alone. It's Apparently. embarrassing to admit, but it feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback as of today. Three more incidents fitting their MO have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms! <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe she's just in an extra good mood? Her dad did come home today. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really want to find out? No, 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 no! Sorry, sorry. Basically, what an episode's like. That was great. You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it, too. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. I love these it. These days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit, especially with high school entrance exams coming up and all. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of 
course. Uh, would anyone mind? I'm done. Oh, thank you. And you could do that with the parentheses anytime you deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. No way we would have been any help. Yeah, Especially they weren't exactly easy. falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? Well, I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Mm, after mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. He... Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays, I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you wanna know something? I lost my mother when I was young. Huh? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. Not only that, he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. Oh. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation, and he passed away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. He had worked so hard for our family and the public. I never thanked him at all for it. Just thought over and over... There's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship. But even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... Hmm? <sighs> That's nothing. Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? <sighs> I saw him. The man that ran Mom over. What? But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, they'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me. And I told them so many times. Why? Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there. Akane, John. He doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father. Stop that. <laughs> There is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. I know you've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Hasegawa-san may seem like he doesn't care. I have a feeling he does. In his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasegawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. His family was always on his mind. 
And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane-chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you're around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead, you should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. <sighs> Those kids. Sorry for this thing, Kiki. <laughs> 